position, distance, and displacement. So, in this video, I'm going to try to help you understand the differences between position, distance, and displacement, and how they're used in an example problem. So, position is the location of an object relative to an origin. So, on my little drawing here, this would be the origin, and so you'd be like over 3, up 4 to this object, so the position would be 3, 4. For distance, it's the amount of space traveled to get from A to B. So, if you were at A, and you wanted to get to B, but there was all this, like, fire rocks or something around, you'd have to go all the way around through them to get to B. And then displacement is the direct distance of A to B. So, if you could walk through the fire, you could just go straight through all the way to B. So, now for an example problem to kind of show you how these are actually used. So... For my example problem, I have show position of distance and dis show position, distance and displacement from Frank's house to get to the hardware store. So now this doesn't make any sense, but that's okay because I have this little picture right here. So this is Frank's house, this is the hardware store, and then I've marked the origin. It's marked on all of them. So we're gonna show all three here. So starting with position. So I have positives on this side and up from the origin and negatives this way and down from the origin. So what we're going to do is first we're going to count to Frank's house. We're going to go over one, over two, and over two and a half, and then up one, up two, and then two and a half. So then we land on the building. Then for here we're going to go down one, down a half, so that's negative one and a half, and then down a half, so that's negative half. So then now we have the position for the hardware store and for Frank's house. Now for distance. Now if you were Frank, and you wanted to drive to the hardware store, you'd turn onto this road, you'd probably go down this way, turn, and down, and back. And then you'd get over to this hardware store. Now, based off the not really so scaled of my image, I have that written down. That's about four miles in these terms. So then, for uh, displacement, if you weren't really law-abiding and you just didn't want to go to the roads, you could just drive straight over them to the hardware store, and that would be about two miles in my not-so-scaled image. And for displacement, you have to show the direction you went. So that's southwest. So you have two miles southwest. Now I have this all written down to make a little bit more sense of it. So we have the position for Frank's house. That would be two, positive two and a half, positive two and a half. For the hardware store, negative one and a half, negative half. The distance between the two would be four miles, and then the displacement is two miles southwest. So then, that's the end. That's all I have. I hope that this was successful in helping you in defining position, distance, and displacement, and that's all.